The teenage brain is literally not equipped to deal with drug use. In fact, adolescents and teens are twice as likely to abuse opioids than younger adults. Looking at the problem nationwide, 3.6% of teens admitted to using opioids over the past year. And seven out of 10 teens actually combined opioids with other drugs or alcohol. That puts these kids at a huge risk for overdose. Last year alone, we lost 11 teens to opioid-related deaths in Washington State. Now, King County, we had none until now. Here's a scary fact. Teens are at a higher risk for drug addiction because they mentally don't have the tools to stop themselves. Let's do a quick brain lesson right here. So from the time we're born, the brain develops at different stages. It starts to mature from the back towards the front to build motor skills, language, emotion. But it's not even fully developed until we're 25 years old. So if you've ever wondered why some teens do risky things, here's why. It's their prefrontal cortex. It hasn't developed yet, and that's the area of the brain that's responsible for higher functioning like impulse, reasoning, and judgment. And that lack of judgment is because of development and those kids and teens are even more susceptible to addiction. So if you're a parent, grandparent, or guardian and you need help, you're worried about your teen, or if you just want some info on signs or symptoms, this is a great resource. This is the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids and they can offer support and answer questions. You can call them or go online or just text the word support to 206-448-4545. And we're going to send you all the information that you need. We're also going to have all this information and more on king5.com. Back to you.